guys, if you read the title, you probably already know what's in the box here, but I'm just going to pretend like you don't because I have not seen it yet and I cannot wait any longer. So we're going to dig right into it. This is going to be my 2019 hunting bowl. Let's see. Ooh. There she is. Always good to have your cams protected and axles. So this is the 2019 Bowtech SR6. Realm SR6, I should say. Uh, of course, you always got to love the free sticker and the free hat. Where is that hat? It's down there at the bottom. I like to tell people that's a thousand dollar hat and a free bowl. Ah, all right. Wow, is that cool? All right, again, this is the Bowtech Realm SR6. And before I dive into getting everything set up, I am going to throw a set of threads, custom bowl strings on it. Never tried these before, but. I've heard good things, so I figured they'd be worth a shot, and they're going to look pretty sweet on this bowl. I got electric red strings with the flat dark earth riser and black limbs, so let's throw them on here. All right guys, so I got the strings on, and before I even draw it back once to check the peak weight, check the cam timing, anything like that, the first thing I'm gonna do is get the cam lean set so that I don't derail it the first time I draw it back. Now obviously I can just eyeball it and I can see that nothing's too, too out of whack that I would derail it, but I'm just gonna get that set where I want it first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an arrow, lay it flat along the cam, and ideally what would happen is it would run parallel to the string but as you can see it's pointing out to my left away from the string rather than running parallel so that means that I need to add twist to this yoke or remove from this one um, and it looks like I removed the string stop so I could do the same thing on the bottom and it looks like the bottom is doing the same exact thing hopefully you guys can see that so back in the press it goes. All right guys, so I made a couple adjustments. And now, hopefully as you can see, that arrow, let me get it on there better, is pretty close to paralleling the string right down. So that'll be pretty close. Obviously the yolks are gonna get adjusted anyways when we start paper tuning. So now, actually first I'm gonna flip the the flip disc modules onto the performance setting and then I will draw it back and check our cam timing for the first time. All right, so side note, flip discs on the Bowtex, um, 
whatever setting they are on will be the word that faces out towards you on the module. So as you can see here, mine is on performance. So now I got that set, so let's give it our first drawback just to get a rough estimate of the, what the cam timing's looking like. That is actually really close. Really close. I'm gonna say a half twist. I'm gonna say the top cam's about a half twist slow. I'll show you, I'll try to get a close up here and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So hopefully you guys can see this, the draw stop. And as I slowly ease off the back wall, the bottom one is still on. The top one you can see there's just that little bit of play. Like I said, I think that's gonna be about a half twist to speed up that top cam. Then we should be good to go. So I got the draw stops coming around at the same time now. Um, I wish I had a draw board so I could check that, you know, real slowly and kind of stand back and look at it from the side. Unfortunately, I don't. But the the timing, just like the cam lean, is something that I'm going to work out during paper tuning anyways. So it's not a big deal. I just like to get it really, really close for this initial setup. But now we're going to start bolting on the accessories. I'm going to start with the rest, and uh, this build should start coming together. All right guys, so next up, I'm gonna take a little bit of serving and I'm gonna tie my top knock set. Um, an important thing to note is that I am doing this with my nocturnal lighted knock in my arrow. I've seen it where if you set it up with the knocks that come in your arrows and then you switch out to a nocturnal, that's gonna be a tighter fit in your D-loop or in your knock sets and it'll actually pinch it and it'll cause inaccuracy and sometimes the light a knock to not even turn on um, with that knock pinch. So I'm actually going to just buy probably a dozen of these nocturnals and just practice with them, let them die, and just shoot those as my regular knocks just so that it can be super consistent when I switch over to broadheads and uh, get my hunting arrows set up. But anyways, I got the bow leveled perfectly and I'm just going to have it just a hair knock high, like maybe a 32nd or a 16th of an inch. That's how most bows usually set up. And also, obviously best case scenario, you get it to tune everything perfectly level. In that case that it would want that, I can move my rest up a little bit. Whereas right now I have my launcher when it's down it's sitting just barely above the shelf of my riser. So if I would set it perfectly level and have to lower lower the rest or make it a little more knock high, then my launcher would essentially be slamming onto my uh, the shelf of my riser. So I like to have that little bit of adjustability that you can play with too. So overhand knot on the back side, over to the front side, back to the back side. And actually just the way this knock is kind of riding up to this knock set, I might do a second layer on top of this first layer. So I might do like three on the first layer and then go back and do another two on the grooves in between that first layer. All right, so now I'm working on the lower of the two knock sets. And I'm gonna leave two strands of center serving between where my knock actually sits up against the top knock set that I tied and this lower one. And that's uh, when you get the full draw, the string angle of the bowl will actually pinch. There'll actually be a little less room in between these knock sets when it gets to full draw than there is at brace like this. 
so that will eliminate that little bit of pressure from the angle pinching my knock too tight. There we go. All right guys, so D-loop is next. Having the knock sets makes that super easy if you ever have to change a D-loop. Um, if you've been in a bow shop, you've seen this done. There's really only one common way to do it. So I already got the first end burnt down and bubbled up. What's that? Well, now that the D-loop's tied, it'd be a fair time to check the peak draw weight for the first time. All right, I'm crouching because I'm too lazy to move the camera, but now that that's all good, it's back in the press so I can tie in the drop cord and put a peep sight in the string. All right, so all that's set. So now I'm gonna time time the drop away rest. So with these QADs, you want them to come into the completely upright position in about the last inch of your draw cycle or so. Um, sometimes you can start them, have them come up a little quicker than that with a brand new set of strings because as everything stretches, it'll probably slow it down a little bit. But I'll just get it to the last inch of the draw and if I have to adjust it later, I'll do that. So hopefully you guys can see this here. All right, so that's gonna be, it's gotta be shorter yet. Try that. That's too quick. Go right in the middle. Still a little quick. That's gonna be real close. So then what I'll do, I'll pull the cord just a hair shorter, then I'll tighten up that set screw and double check it one time. That's like perfect. All right, can always tweak that later too. Huh, what's next? I think it's time to mount the sight and the stabilizers. Then we're gonna put some shots through it. Alright guys, well here's the big reveal. I still have to refletch my arrows to red, so I don't have them in my quiver right now just because I think it would look bad. But there it is. It's it's gonna be a sweet looking bow for sure. Hopefully it's I haven't shot it yet. I'm thinking it'll be just as sweet of a shooter. 
with the exception of that tight spot I got to find some way I know I can get a bracket so that I can mount it up here put it a little more forward but other than that there she is now let's go shoot it I can't wait all right it's all set up my buddy Mitch showed up and within two minutes he had my tight spot problem solved we got it tighter to the bow than I've ever seen one and my sight mounted just fine so we're gonna take the first shot That's nice. That's real nice. Good stuff. All right, last step of the process. Shot it a bunch with the peep sight not tied in and just moved it up and down, played with it a bunch. Got it right where I want it, centered on the housing. Now I'm just tying it in. And that, with the exception of doing some paper tuning once I break the strings in, that's gonna conclude this bolt build.